Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Got right, back out bass fishing, first proper bass fishing of the year. Uh, I've got the rods out already so I'll show you the setup in a bit. Didn't want to waste any time, just got a fresh look on them. My usual bass rigs on. Fishing there been tight and uh, gonna fish into the darkness. Fish a couple of hours off the float and see what we can get. Hopefully get some bass first first one of the year, hopefully. Um, tide wise, tide um, about quarter to eight just as it goes down, uh, darkness. As it goes dark, we should have a better chance. It's a pretty bright sunny day. Uh, about 10 degrees. Uh, tide wise, I think 1.4 meter low. Not a bad tide for the year. Um, still early in the season, but bass be showing up uh, around this coast. So hopefully get that first bass. Like I said, uh, I'll show you this setup. I've got a uh, brand new rigs on. Nice, nice bit of a swell out there at the moment, but. Um, I think wind's gonna switch around and it's gonna be uh, blowing from from uh, from our back. So fingers crossed. Hopefully get a couple of bass. No doubt. I think a couple of couple of my mates uh, fishing with me today. Uh, no doubt we'll see some fish between us. So stay tuned. I'll uh, I'll show you the setup in a bit and then get back to you if you got anything. Yeah. There we go. Covers on two fish first cast, literally two flopper on his school bass. But uh, nice to see early in the tide yet. Yeah. We still got about an hour before there's a gully in front of us. Nice support there on the circle there on the panel hook. So well done, mate. Nice one. And there we have it, guys. First cast bass. Um, very nice and shiny silver, pale. Uh, this size bass takes about three to five years uh, to grow up uh, this size. I'm gonna have a quick measure it and uh, get it back. Um, this time here, the bass still uh, spawn. The rows of eggs and uh, raw in them, so it's not worth keeping this size. Um, just gonna give it a measure, see what it comes at. First bass of the year. Happy with that. It Rod been out in the water about 10 minutes, I think, something like that. Give it a quick measure now. Yeah, 45 centimeters. But as you can see, these fish been spawning, so hardly anything on them. So. Get this one back anyway. Stay tuned. I'll uh, I'll show you the rigs, uh, the brand new rigs I made. Uh, but thanks to cover, uh, I might have uh, just look at my other rod. Get him by or something. Anyway, thanks to cover, it come off, and it was swimming away. He grabbed all of it. So get this one back, and uh, show you the setup in a minute. There we go, another one. Didn't even have, have, uh, have enough time to sh show you the rigs or anything. Turn around, re releasing that first fish. Turn around, the other rod going. Uh, just hook under the chin there, under the bottom lip. There we go. But I'll get this one back and then get a bait out there. I've not got a bait out yet. There we go, this is the rig here. Oh, I've got my usual bass rigs, if you've been watching my bass videos. Uh, been doing very well. With this rig. Basically what it is, a T knot there. Uh, keeps you off the rig body, that's you need. 
and a Theo circle and then Theo trying to well he used to, he used to use these uh, hooks uh, years and years ago uh, Theo mustard worm hook ultra point line wise a 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon same again but on one up one down and a four ounce grip on that on the other one the first fish came on this rig just trying out a two circle of bottom and top same again this is 30 pound fluorocarbon six, six ounce grip on this and a uh, lovely we got some really nice black look with us today so fresh and hard so it stays on the hook really nicely Uh, tackle wise, I'm using my uh, 5000 spinning rod, really light today, fishing really light. Uh, any fish anywhere for them bait. 20 pound braid, 40 pound shock leader on this Shakespeare agility rod. I've got um, Shimano Ultegra XSD 14000, 50 pound straight through. Right, what a lovely day as well. If the fish feeding now, hopefully it feed better in a bit. And if and this sun goes down a bit. Uh, but unfortunately we're gonna lose the wind in a bit. It's gonna get calm but it will still catch. So stay tuned everyone. Hopefully these schoolers get back, uh, bigger. There we go, another bass guys. On the new rig. Doing really well. On a circle again. Corner scissors. Nicely. I am um, one second. There we go. Little little bass. Right, get it on uh, get it released anyway. Hopefully get through these <laughs> small skewers, but still time yet. Probably about two hours to long now. We got another hour before we find the bigger ones. I think. Get this one at least. Off he goes. Yeah, uh, stay tuned, everyone. Hopefully get a monster to eat today. Another skewer coming in. Another one, guys. I'm the champion of today, bro. <laughs> well done, bro. That's the second one. Second one, yeah. There we go. Nice oh, one, well done. This season. Yeah. Decent, that's the prop proper one. Yeah. We'll get bigger and bigger. Hopefully, we'll get bigger. Yeah. Right, quick update there, Ron. About an hour to low tide now. It's coming up to that tide now uh, where we should be getting to some bigger ones. So far, three skewers, a couple of white in as well. Not a bad session, just uh, just need that bigger one to turn up soon. Uh, not much of a swell in the moment, wind, uh, wind direction changed. Bro, well, we'll peep at it and fish into darkness, hopefully get some uh, big fish. And we're going to try a uh, razor, razor clam as well. If any big ones, uh, should go for a razor clam. So, uh, not much to report. Hopefully get some big fish tonight. There we go, another schooly bass. Just can't get through them at the moment. Yeah, um, there's loads of them out there at the moment. Hopefully, when the darkness sets, hoping to get a bigger one.
There we go, guys. Could be a PB here, uh, or coming close to, close to a PB. What a lowly bass. Uh, I did say uh, it's coming to that time now, uh, where the, the big ones just starts to show here, and it did uh, on the uh, newly newly made uh, flapper rigs, one up, one down. Get in, roll the fish, give it away, and I'll see if I decide to keep you or not. But yeah, roll the fish. Get in. There we have it, almost touching 62. Lovely fish. Proper chunk. I'm gonna give it a quick way now and then decide if I wanna keep this or not. Right, well, get in. Truth with that. Um, and it's, it's end up being a PB as well. Uh, 62 centimeters and uh, weighed five and a half pounds. I'm pretty sure the, the scales I've got is uh, not showing the exact weight, it's, it's said 5.52. So I think it's around about five point, nearly over, just over five and a half pounds. So get in, first proper bass session started with the PB guys. So not a bad start to the season. I think that was my uh, fifth bass uh, of the of the year. So decent session here, and the fish came right on the slack water as well. So we'll have a quick check the time again. See what's the what's the tide doing at the moment? Yeah, 19:42 low water, and it's 19:51 uh, now. So dead on slack water. New rigs working very well. Actually, as I landed, it's spot to hook. Yeah, lucky to land it. It felt very heavy as well, so I was uh, shouting to my mate, oh, he's a stonker. <laughs> and uh, yeah, BB guys, happy with that. Well, stay tuned. I think we're gonna fish the flood a couple of hours and uh, see if we wrinkle some more out. Cheers guys. Well, all the skewers are left and these greedy buggers are turned up. White ins. <laughs> Caught half a dozen of them now. Uh, not looking good. But I prefer fishing low water here. Um, I don't think I've fished the flood here before. I have done like about an hour after low. Uh, just gone after an hour now, after low water. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna swim back. So, get a fish bait out now. We're we'll probably give another hour here. And then. Uh, get going I'm quite happy with what I've got so far <clears throat> end up releasing that big bass as well uh, it's nice to breathe inside size of uh, bass so they are still uh, spawning at the moment uh, I know someone caught a bass uh, recently and it's full of raw in them so no point keeping them yet uh, give another another month at least before start keeping bass Anyway, get that uh, baited, baited up again. New rigs doing uh, damage again. The, um, new hooks, 3 all mustard worm hooks, ultra point, very sharp, with a 3 all offset uh, circle. One up, one down. Working well again. And it's flora, flora carbon, and uh, definitely uh, better uh, fishing with flora, uh, especially in uh, uh, clear waters like here. What I'm doing, just casting into first first breakers there. Not much of a swell there, out there, to be honest. But um, you're still fishing, but the whitings are turned up, so 
we'll see. Uh, we'll give another hour here. See if we can uh, get another sizable bass. Unfortunately, a stupid amount of whiting out there. So annoying. Yeah, wrecking the bait. All pin whitings. Literally getting my ever cast now. I'm not sure how long we're gonna give it a go here. Yeah. You just got white in. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. White in a classic moment. Where's the bait? Bait uh, over there. Yeah, um, we got some lovely black looks as well today. Look at that. Lovely black look. Nice and hard, fresh, pumped uh, Saturday night. Did the job today with the PB and the rig's working again. Yeah, I prefer fishing over low water here, but you do get them on the float. But still early in the season, I'm quite happy with the PB, not gonna lie. Um, not sure how, uh, how good the GoPro picking this up, but this is a 40 pound fluorocarbon, one up, one down. Might definitely go to go to rig and a six ounce clipper. Quite a bit of tide on me as well, so you do need a good let here. My mate ever had a rolling let and it just crossed in mine. So as the tide floats into the bullies just takes the lead with it so get this out hopefully get one more bass either way I'm happy with what I've got so stay tuned everyone it's not been the best of video filming wise but hopefully it turned out alright but um, get this bait out hopefully get one more before we go Well, I reckon it's time to hook up. I've just had a double, uh, double header on my other rod. Literally cast it out two minutes. Boom, double header on that, and a double on that, double header on this. So that's the last cast now. I'm just gonna park this rod away. See if we can get a last cast fish other than whiting. Uh, not a bad, uh, bad session on the bass. First proper bass session of the year. Uh, get this fish released. Doubt they go back. And uh, this one's lost, uh, lost an eye as well. Uh, get these back. If I don't get back these guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully. He did a good video uh, don't forget to give us a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already helps me out and uh, i'll see you on the next one guys thanks for watching